San Bruno is full of a lot of ethnicities. Ethnic eating. Mexicans are comfortable to advertise entirely in Spanish or Mexican because they know they can reach a lot of people or they feel like they can in these neighborhoods. Two hour parking all day. Hmm. Yeah, they, they do a good job maintaining a good appearance for the neighborhoods around here. This is kind of a rare fence. They pack them in, of course. <laughs> nice balcony. Big apple tree, wow. <laughs> I don't even believe this is a church. Just somebody's yard. All right, last night my arm got extremely itchy. All right, it's the whole all around, just little spots. Um, yeah, deep down, really itchy. And it, uh, it, it took a, a couple hours to get some relief. Even itchy on, on this, this side a little bit. You can see there's, I'm just recording the welts and marks from itching so much before they fade away too much. Just want to make note that things got very itchy last night and I just don't understand exactly why okay is this poison ivy is some some kind of a late attack of poison ivy from a week ago from possibly being exposed so itchy not so much itchy at the moment it seemed it might have coordinated with putting this jacket on but i don't know what have, what would have caused that i mostly wear this shirt this unwashed shirt for a few few weeks now yeah, even a little itchy deep, deep right in there, too. <clears throat> I did have coffee yesterday, which is kind of rare. And it's not too often I'll get an itch, but uh, last time I had a serious itch after consuming coffee. It took a few hours and it took till pretty much the next day. Uh, my whole body itched after drinking coffee when I was 27. I'm 41. Uh, the coffee last night, I, I had it in the morning, but last night I was still getting a, my heart was kind of fluttering, and I didn't have but a shot, but it was just, I get affected by coffee very strongly, and it affects uh, my, my sleeping, my heart, my heart rate in the evening time, uh, but this itching might be just something very different, a different influence affected it. So I got scabs and stuff. I was thinking at first that when the itching started that I must have got assaulted by a bunch of, like a pack of mosquitoes. But I haven't seen a mosquito for two nights. Alright, I had one mosquito in two nights ago that was very bothersome. Couldn't locate it. And I was thinking, well, could it have just gone up and down my arm? But it would have had to have gone through the cloth to get to my arm. I understand, like, around the wrist that's possible, but the itching continued on down to my elbow, so 
it's it's uh, it's very we're very weird, and I want to just make note of it that the itching affects my 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 lower arm, not so much the upper arm, and and uh, yeah, it happened overnight, and I'll just kind of see what happens if it gets worse or better uh, from here on out. Uh, these two snails won't let go of each other. Living spaces. Had to go around and use a walkway. It's pretty busy here. Parking garage. All right, so there's a uh, bicycle trail that is supposed to follow in front of the airport. Just gonna check that out. Very busy, very dangerous. Next to the West End. Yeah, that's the Bayfront Park right there. <laughs> so muddy.